Hey everybody, Private No Star here. Today I'm doing that Exodia deck I promised in my last video. Sorry about the flash, my room's kind of dark. And I'm going to do a little thing. This is where I'm going to build casual decks. So we don't have to worry about ban lists or anything. It's just for decks you use against your friends. And we're going to be using my dual disc to hold the cards for this. So, you know, the key things about an Exodia deck is you want the five pieces of Exodia. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. These are the key to you for winning. Now, I'm going to explain the strategies for this deck more along at the end of the video. But next, we're going to have a, bl a Blue Eyes White Dragon, Magician of Faith, Alexandrite Dragon, and a Terry Interplanetary Burp Live Thorny Dragon, Old Vindictive Magician, White Stone of Legend, Marshmallow. Karibo, another Blue Eyes, a Gaga -ga -ga Gardna, another Marshmallow, a Luster Dragon, uh, my my young I think Munai Maidens. Sorry if I butchered that. I'm not really good at speaking. A Balloon Lizard, Sangin, Magical Son of Excavation, Ancient Rules. Shard of Greed, Pressure Cards from Beyond, Trade In, Swords of Revealing Light, Reload, another Shard of Greed, Monster Reborn, another Ancient Rules, Hand of Destruction, Pot of Duality, Pot of Greed. Now for the traps, we will have Call of the Haunted, Mirror Force. Limits reverse. Birthright. Not gonna try to say that. Armor. Draining shield. Another mirror force. And that's it for the deck. Now let's get to these strategies. Okay, for the strategies of this, all you really want to do is get these cards in your hand so you can win. Um, pretty much for this. For draining shield, it's really there to absorb attacks and protect your life points while you're waiting to get it. Same thing with most of these cards, like mirror force. This destroys the enemy, also protects you from damage. Now we have Call of the Haunted, Limit Reverse, and Birthright. This is all to bring back Sangin, so it's easier to get the five pieces of Exodia out faster. And these are just to bring him back and stuff, so yeah. Okay, for all these spell cards, most of them you're just going to be doing to draw. Pot of Greed, Drawing. Pod Duality, Drawing. Hand of Destruction, Drawing. Ancient Rules is to summon Blue Eyes in case you need to defend yourself and stuff. And then we have Monster Reborn to again bring out Sangin so it's easier to get, um, I'm trying to think, uh, Exodia out. Um, Shot of Greed, Shard of Greed, you know, to draw. Same with Trade In, previous card from Beyond. And that's it for the drawing. We also have Magical Stone Excavation, which is to help you bring back a spell card to either draw again or get a monster out again. And then we have Swords of Revealing Light to protect you from being attacked. And flips all your opponent's monsters over, so in case you need to plan out a strategy. And then we have Reload, which is mainly here to when you draw and you don't have any pieces of Exodia in your hand, you can basically have a free uh, brick. Sangin's in here, because what you really need is him, so it's easier to, you know, when he dies, bring him, he's excited your hand, bring him back, dies, you know, wash, rinse, repeat. We got Balloon Lizard here, because we put a counter on him, and when he's destroyed, we can inflict damage to the controller, that destroyed equal to the number of counters. And then we have Mojone Mune Maidens, because they have an effect that when they're flip summoned, that you can disc draw one card and then b then discard a card. And it also has an effect once per turn. You can turn this card back to face down so you can repeatedly use its effect. We got Luster Dragon to protect from low level. We have Marshmallow in this deck. So, you know, adds a way to absorb attacks from for stalling, basically. We got Gaga Gardener in case um, you summon something and your opponent destroys it and he's about to attack you directly. We have Blue Eyes to either use for trade-in or to summon to protect you. Karibo to also stall the opponent and save your life points. And we have the White Sentinel Legend 
So it's easier to add a blue eyes to your hand to activate trade in. We have over Nicted Magician in case we need to destroy a monster real fast. We have an entire player play Thorny Dragon to when, you know, a, a monster is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard. We can special summon him for a good attack damage of like 2,200. Alexandrite Dragon, mainly to protect you. And then we have Magician of Faith, which will start, let you add a spell card back into your hand so you can draw Exodia. So there you guys have it. That is my Exodia deck build. I hope you enjoy. It's mostly for casual uh, play. Bye.